So you guys write a lot of comments. A lot of them are very good. Some of them are a little bit weird. But there's a lot of comments which say things which could be true or could not be true. So today we're going to testing a bunch of them out and try to answer a bunch of the questions that you asked in the comments. So let's jump right into it. So the first one said on the speed limit video that you can actually stack the mutator zones and basically have kind of unlimited speed. So we're going to take out the mutator zone, make sure that that has the right setting. So we're going to first try out to like maybe duplicate it when running through it and see if that actually gives us a little bit of a speed boost. I'm not sure about this one. Okay, so this is normal speed. We're two speed, four speed. I don't feel we're like any faster. I just remembered that that doesn't make any sense what I just did. And um, it would basically just be a giant zone anyway. So um, we have to stack them actually into each other. Okay, so we're gonna do this a little bit more scientific here. We have our checkpoint and our start here. We have one potato zone and then we're gonna see how much faster we can actually get. All right, so the normal time is 1041 with just two times speed in one potato zone. Okay, so just so I don't waste too much time and see if this actually works, I'm gonna stack two mutators on. So technically, I should be double the speed. I mean, it's not double, but it is faster. Okay, so now we have a total of 20 mutator zones. And I should technically now be flying through this. I mean, that is not that bad. Okay, so we now have about 100 mutator zones in here. This might break my game, but... um. I just hope for the best. It's not really that fast, right? Okay, one last time we're gonna try it also with the movement modulator, but technically this myth is already busted, so uh, we can probably say that this is uh, true, that you can actually stack them. Yeah, it's not really that much faster, but that just confirms that you can actually stack mutator zones into each other and make people kind of go insanely fast. All right, so this one is from the five secrets, especially the lightsaber one, where a lot of you guys said that you cannot get the lightsabers anymore. And I have a small suspicion that there might be a hot fix to it. So we're gonna use the exact same island where I did this last time. So the trick on this island was actually to open chests, but not pick up any guns. So what I actually did is I turned off the auto pickup for guns and then just, just opened a bunch of chests. All right, so I opened all of the chests and as you can see, I could not get the lightsabers or the blaster anymore. And I also found this from May 4th uh, from Foster Southie uh, that they apparently uh, have patched out the lightsabers. But you could still get the legendary LMG and the legendary drum shotgun if you obviously use the uh, Midas flopper. So uh, yeah, you still could get like a few unreleased items technically. But for the lightsabers, they have sadly been patched out. All right, so this next one I saw all over my videos in the last few weeks. And it says new items in the Shark Wars gallery. And yes, I can confirm there's a lot of new walls in the Sharks Walls Gallery, especially these broken ones are really cool. But however, this is not really a secret or something that is a myth because these were actually in the patch notes. The only problem with that is that the patch notes are gone. And as you can see, if we scroll down all the way from 20.20, .20, we can see that there's the 20.10 update for BR, but there's no creative one. And if we scroll all the way down, you can see that it's on the 20 update, which is obviously the release of season two. So uh, that's the reason why a lot of people were confused and why people thought it was a secret that they got added. But yes, in the Shark Wall Gallery, there are new walls which are really cool. Alright so this next one is about UFOs and it actually looks like they decreased the number of UFOs that you can have in a map and apparently they even decreased it by quite a bit so apparently we should only be able to be placing four UFOs now so we have three now and now we have number four so we can still have four that's good and so now if I place this one we can actually not. So I think the total number that we could have at some point was 31 or something and especially people who already made maps with like 31 UFOs uh, that might be not that cool. I wonder if that decreased anything else. Let's see for the tanks. I think the total for the tanks was eight, four, six, eight, and yeah. Okay, so we still have eight, so that's good. I really hope they didn't touch the cars because that would actually ruin a lot of maps. I think the UFOs are already ruining a lot of maps if you actually have a lot of UFOs, but the cars, that would literally break so many maps, but I highly doubt they did that. Six, and yeah, that works and we cannot place any more. We cannot place a single one more. I don't know why. Maybe they were too buggy if you had too many of them. Also, I'm not sure when they did that. I, I do not play too much with the UFOs. But I know for sure that they had 31 at some point. So that is very unfortunate for everybody that likes to play with the UFOs. All right, for the last one, we have a small one, which is like, I would say more for the unexperienced players in creative. Um, and that is how you get these uh, like water and stuff like that in creative and actually activate it in creative. So in um, almost every device now, especially in the newer ones, there is a setting which is called all, right? By default, everything is set to gameplay only, which means you basically uh, will only see it if you start the game. But if you set this to all, it will basically be allowed in creative as well. You can also set this to creative only and you will still have the same effect. This is like fairly a newer setting in devices where you can actually allow this to be in creative so you can actually test it out in creative. 
Um, but I think a lot of people, which are especially newer to Fortnite Creative, don't know that this is a thing. So if you want to have like any kind of like newer devices like the water enabled in Creative already, you can just have it to all or Creative only. And this wraps it up for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you learned something. And I will see you guys back in the next one. Bye.